Martin T. contends that his Hewlett Packard 3 in 1 printer, scanner, and copier is slow to warm up and operate. Well, in this short video, I'm going to show you that that's not strictly the case. So, starting from cold, we press the on button like so. There may be some intermittent chunnering which will go on for a few seconds, but uh, that's not to worry because in the meantime we can proceed with our scanning. So, we're going to scan a simple piece of printed document, we insert the document like so, and now move over to the computer to set the scanner actions. Okay, so here we have a standard computer screen with all your icons on the left hand side. There are two ways of operating the scanner. From the desktop you double click on HP Desktop Printer and wait for the page to appear. When it appears seek out Scanner Actions. Double click on Scanner Actions. Then it says Scanner Document or Photo so we click Scanner Document or Photo. And there we have the page which we must program in to scan our document. So we go first of all photo to file, double click on that. We want set grayscale or colour. In our case as it's a printed page we'll have grayscale. Resolution quality. You've got many options. I would suggest 300. If you go higher it'll take a long time to, to copy. And then we click scan. That is one way of doing it. Now I'll show you the quicker way. The second and easier way of operating your scanner is to go to your Start button in the bottom left corner, seek out HP Scanner, double click on HP Scanner, and you'll be taken direct to your scanning page. We want to scan a photo to a file. Uh, it will be in grayscale and resolution of 300 as we've already discussed. So we click Scan and the scanning operation will begin. You will see the, the scan page appearing in your viewing page here. You may not be able to see, but this is actually upside down. doesn't matter. You go to your rotate icon, click rotate, and now you'll find you've got it the right way up. So we want to save this scan. So we click save, and it will invite us to save it to a, to a file. I, in fact, want to put it on my memory stick, which is called Transend. I'm going to put it on a file name is Martin's Christian Testimony. So I open Martin's Christian Testimony. Test to me, click save, and the page is now being saved in that file. In a few seconds it will appear. Here it is. So if we double click on it, we just have a look, see that it's okay. Yes, that's fine. And as you see, you can magnify it, it becomes quite readable. So I think you will agree, there's nothing slow about that operation.